Welcome back. Some of Milwaukee's oldest neighborhoods have a rich tradition. But all too often, they are in the news for all the wrong reasons. Milwaukee historian John Gerda made it his mission to tell the stories of 37 of those communities in a new book. It's called Milwaukee City of Neighborhoods. That's it sitting right there on the table in front of us. You drew inspiration from um, these posters. We used to have them hanging up all over the newsroom. Yeah, they're still around all over Milwaukee. Yeah, you, it's, you it's a series of city put everywhere. out now, back in the 80s, yeah. and we did 27 neighborhoods, and the point was to kind of help neighbors identify themselves, and those languished for about 30 years. I'd written essays in the back that because they were in the back of a poster, no one saw. Okay. So, so we had all this information <laughs> kind of going to waste. So Historic Milwaukee is the publisher. We added 10 neighbors we did not get to in the first round, so we have 37 neighbors. And what it amounts to is kind of a grassroots Bible. This is the most comprehensive account of Milwaukee neighborhoods ever published. How'd you do research for this book? I mean, there's a ton of research. Can you narrow it down <laughs> oh, for sure us? Oh, sure is. It, it was sort of the usual archival suspects, Milwaukee Public Library, County Historical Society. But there's no substitute for getting out in the neighborhoods. So I put on hundreds of miles on foot and by bike in all sections of the older part of town, talk, just falling to conversation, talking to people about how things were going, trying to hear stories uh, about how the areas had changed, what they were like today. So it was a lot of... A lot of shoe leather and, uh, and bike tires as well. You hear about neighborhoods like the Harambe neighborhood. Right. Uh, it is full of one of the most distinctive Milwaukee architectural styles, that, you know, that flat, that, the, yeah. the, the, those two-story homes. We wind up there for all the wrong reasons more often than not. W what did you learn about uh, that community? What I learned, Steve, was that uh, life is a lot more subtle and nuanced than you get in, in the news, uh, with, uh, with all apologies. Mm -hmm. the, the, the violence certainly is a serious problem. Uh, the homicide rate has spiked, uh, but in all those neighborhoods, there are lives that are going on well, people with hope, people with energy. There are positive developments, and we do them a disservice by writing them off as these crime-ridden parts of the city that no one should go to because they can be destinations as well. But the book as well uh, covers neighborhoods like Bayview and North Point and the Lower East Side, places that are doing just fine. So it's the whole range of the Milwaukee experience. Don't have much time left, but you said you talked to a lot of people. Any of the stories that, that really stayed with you, maybe one you want to share with us? Uh, some people, I was talking to people in the Midtown area, a couple who had uh, moved into a house that was plagued by drug dealers, and they took it upon themselves with no outside support to uh, evict them, basically. Hmm. Uh, came home from work, and they would shoot video of uh, the people doing deals, the people hiding their stashes in the mulberry tree in their front yard. They prevailed. It took courage. It took effort. But they prevailed. So people are dealing with, with challenges many of us in other neighborhoods do not have, uh, but there is still hope and you know, still positive energy. Are you delivering these books one by one off the bike, <laughs> or can we buy these somewhere? You can buy these. The, the launch is next Thursday at the Grand Exchange, Historic Milwaukee, Inc. Uh, RSVPs are necessary, so call them. And you can also pre-order. <laughs> it is a big book. <laughs> it's it's a big book. Big <laughs> book. <laughs> but you can pre-order online at historicmilwaukee.org. Six pounds. <laughs> John Gerda, <laughs> thank you. Like yes. <laughs> Milwaukee City of Neighborhoods, again, as he said, launched next Thursday at the Grain Exchange. John Gerda, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you.